When we keep our eyes on Jesus, we only consider how great He is, not how big our problems are. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we would find that our anxiety levels would be severely decreased if we get a revelation of just how powerful our God is. We could get our our inspiration from Deuteronomy 30 verses 4 through 20, where Moses reminds the nation of Israel of what God is capable of. Verse 4, if you as a nation are driven out of the to the farthest parts under heaven, the Lord your God will gather you. Not only that, verse 5, he will prosper you, multiply you, verse 6, and to the Lord your God that the Lord your God will encourage your heart and the heart of your descendants to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, that you may live. Moses also warns them in verse 17, if you choose to let your heart turn away so you do not hear and are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, verse 18, you shall surely perish. Therefore, verse 19, I have set before you the choice between life and death, between blessing and cursing. Choose life. For, uh, for you and your descendants. Verse 20, Then you will be able to love the Lord your God, obey His voice, and cling to Him, for He is your life and length of your days. Second Samuel 7, 22, You are good, O Lord God. There is none like you, nor is there any God beside you. Just like in Second Chronicles twenty twelve, we humbly admit to God ourselves that we ourselves have no power against the great multitude that gathers against us, nor do we know what to do. Our eyes are upon you, O God. For Psalm 139, 8, If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. Isaiah tells us in 6, 1, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled his temple. Psalm 66, 7, God rules by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. In order to get a hold of this, Ephesians 1, verses 18 to 21, Paul tells us that he prays that the eyes of our understanding be enlightened, that we come to find out, verse 19, what is the exceeding greatness of God's power to us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, verse 20, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him in heavenly places, verse 21, far above all principalities and power and might, and every name that is named. Verse 22, all things are under his feet or authority. Words of encouragement, no scandal on earth, no politician, no political party, no law enforcement agency or military is more powerful than our God. There is no news of the evil that people commit that should dishearten us because our God overcomes them all. Know this helps keep our eye on the ball and our real mission. Paul describes in Acts 26 uh, verse 18, to help those in darkness turn to the light and be released from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and get an inheritance among those sanctified by faith in Jesus. Have a great day.